Now there are a number of different new plugins in Sonar, and so you'll want to check out some of our other videos for more information on those and how to make use of them. But one of my new favorites is the Armix Sonar. I'm going to drag that into the FX bin on my drums that I've been working with here. And what the Armix Sonar is going to allow you to do is find troublesome frequencies and either boost them or do away with them entirely, but do so in a very visual format. So I'm going to play my drums here and I'll show you just how the Armix Sonar interacts with my audio. So you can see that what I'm able to do here is kind of mix using my eyes, but this also allows me to really find specific frequencies and either boost them or do away with them entirely. I can do this by changing the shape of the filter which I am making use of as I take a look at that sort of heat zone map of my audio as it plays back through the Armix sonar. Then I can make use of the inside level and the outside level sliders in order to really dial in exactly what it is that I would like to be controlling while I'm making use of the Armix sonar. So this is a pretty cool way to be able to mix and again you see how easily I was able to make use of the x-ray feature as well really enjoy the x-ray feature allowing me to dive right in make use of all of the different controls here um, inside of sonar be able to play back my audio and then bring back the interface of my plugin again really quickly all very cool ways to be able to speed up your workflow inside of sonar